Hi, my name is Pamela Hood, and I'm a program manager with the Azure Data SQL Enterprise team, focusing on SQL in Azure VMs. Today, I'd like to demonstrate how to manage your SQL Server virtual machines in Azure using the Azure portal with the SQL IaaS agent extension. Uh, so what you can see on the screen right here is the virtual machine blade in the Azure portal, and you can see listed out a few of the virtual machines that I have. Um, so from this view, you can't really see anything about what's running inside the VMs. These are just, um, from this perspective, just virtual machines in Azure. And you can see, you know, the size of the virtual machine and its location and things like that, but um, nothing about SQL Server itself. If we were to choose one of these uh, virtual machines to manage, let me just pick this first one here. Again, I can see a lot of the different aspects of the virtual machine itself, but nothing that has to do with SQL Server. And in fact, this virtual machine isn't even recognized as a SQL Server uh, a virtual machine. If I were to choose one of my other virtual machines here, you might notice that actually what pops up here is a SQL Server configuration box or button. Um, and if I click this, this one actually gives me an option to manage the SQL Server virtual machine. And clicking this brings me over into a more SQL Server centric view. And this is the, um, the SQL IaaS agent extension. So the difference between these two VMs, actually both VMs have SQL Server installed on them, but the difference between the two, these two VMs is one of them is registered with the SQL Server IaaS extension and the other one is not. So if I come back to my virtual machines here, I can see the four VMs. If I were to click over into the SQL Server virtual machines view, however, you can see that there's only two listed here. So even though all of my virtual machines have SQL Server installed, only two of them have the IaaS extension installed. And so these are the only two that offer me this SQL Server management. So if I look in the virtual machine view here, you can see I can see a little bit more about SQL Server that's running inside these virtual machines. I can see the license type here, you can see one of my VMs is using the Azure Hybrid Benefit license type. The other one is using Pay As You Go. I can see the version of SQL Server that's running, as well as the addition enterprise versus standard versus developer. Um, and again, the location and the subscription. So this just gives me a little bit more information and a single view to see all of my SQL Server VMs. And again, if I click into one of these SQL Server virtual machines, um, you'll see I've got some additional options that give me some automated configuration and management for my SQL Server virtual machine. So one of the things I can do, for example, is I can change the um, license type between pay-as-you-go Azure Hybrid Benefit and the optional HADR license type. So this would be if I was running um, passive replicas using uh, availability groups or failover clustering, I wouldn't have to pay licensing for those, so I could choose that. Azure Hybrid Benefit allowing me to choose my, to use my software assurance on-premises benefits to apply those licenses up into Azure, or pay as you go that allows me to pay licensing um, directly through the virtual machine. Uh, as well as changing the addition of SQL Server here, and even doing things like reconfiguring storage, um, configuring automated patching, which would update, uh, add uh, security updates. Um, I can even manage backups using automated backup. Um, and uh, just a few other things like enabling transparent data encryption using Azure Key Vault. So this allows me to enable Key Vault integration and various different features that, that make it a little bit easier to manage my SQL Server virtual machine in Azure. So if you have, if you use a marketplace image um, to install SQL Server in Azure, you would automatically get all of these benefits and all of these features of the IaaS extension. But if you were to self-install SQL Server, which is what I have over here with some of these other virtual machines, where I've installed SQL Server, but I didn't use a SQL Server marketplace image, then I do still have an option of getting these extra benefits by installing the IaaS extension. So there are a couple of ways to do that. The easiest way is to leverage automatic registration. So when you're in the SQL Server virtual machine blade here, what you'll see is a button at the top for automatic SQL Server VM registration. When you click this button, 
you'll notice that a new window pops up with a EULA. And what you would do is just read through this EULA, choose the subscription that you want to enroll for automatic registration, check the consent checkbox saying that you accept the license terms, and then you would just click the register button. Once you do this, then automatic registration is enabled. And what that will do is run a job each day, which searches for any SQL Server virtual machines that are installed in the subscription. So once you enable this, we will go and discover all of the SQL servers that are running inside your Azure virtual machines and we'll register them so that they will show up in this virtual machine blade. It can take up to 48 hours for that process to complete and locate all of the VMs in the subscription. So it's not immediate, but eventually they will show up here. And the nice thing about automatic registration is any future uh, virtual machines that are uh, built within the subscription, if you install SQL Server on those, even if you don't manually install the IaaS extension, it'll automatically get installed. So this installs the IaaS extension on existing and future SQL Server VMs as well. Now, in this case, I want to show you um, what would happen if I were to register uh, one of these machines. So rather than wait for automatic registration to come around, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Azure CLI to register um, one of those virtual machines that does not have the IaaS extension. So once I run this command, this is gonna go ahead and install the IaaS extension in lightweight mode on the virtual machine that I've indicated here. So, okay, so it looks like the script here has finished. So let's go ahead and click refresh here and see. Yep, so now you can see that new VM has come in and it has the pay as you go license type. So let's say that was actually, oh, actually, and this one's also in developer edition. You notice it's not in enterprise. So I actually cannot change this to Azure hybrid benefit. I would have to change the edition first. Um, but that gives you an idea of how you can manually install the resource, uh, the IaaS extension. Um, and this is also what would happen if we automatically registered. They would just pop up here in the SQL virtual machine. Now, if you were to manage this VM, one thing you might notice is that some of the um, some of the services that are available in the other virtual machines are not available here. And that is because I registered this IaaS extension in lightweight mode. And lightweight mode is what you get when the server is automatically registered. So in lightweight mode, we have the ability to discover the machine and inventory it as you saw on the virtual machine view, and we can manage the license type and the addition type here. However, the other features that would normally be available in full mode are not available here. So the security, the patching, the backups, et cetera, those features require full mode in order to leverage those benefits. So if I wanted to get the full value of the resource provider for, for this virtual machine, I would need to upgrade it to full mode. And so that's what's indicated here that these things are only available. These are the only things available in lightweight mode. So if I want to upgrade to full mode, I can click here. Now the issue with upgrading to full mode is that it does require a restart on the SQL Server service. Um, so you would want to do this during a maintenance window uh, so that it, you are okay to restart the service. So if I assume that I'm in a maintenance window right now, I can just click agree to restart click confirm here, and then this will upgrade the IaaS extension from lightweight mode into full mode. And once this deployment is complete, um, I will have those additional features um, here available to me in the um, SQL Server virtual machine management pane here. Okay, so it looks like the upgrade to full mode has succeeded. Let's go ahead and click refresh here. And it's still showing, there we go. So now we can see storage configuration is now lit up here. If I come over to the security, I can see that Azure Key Vault integration, backups and et cetera. So now I have all of the features of full mode and I can manage this virtual machine, same as what I was showing you with the others, with the full feature set of the um, IaaS extension.